Ben with Preferred Home Services. We're here at a customer's house today uh, in reference to making a repair that was previously performed by another company and uh, obviously it has failed, so we're here to do it right. So our customer had a high water bill and upon arrival, went ahead and checked the meter, saw it was constantly rolling, uh, checked all the, uh, the obvious signs, leaky toilets, anything like that, uh, actually mitigated that. Uh, then we came out here to where the actual air conditioning line set comes out. Uh, as long as the, uh, the actual condensate drain and notice it was definitely saturated which is not uncommon but we actually saw a pretty steady stream coming from uh, actually inside this trough pipe uh, that's actually where it's where it's actually relieving itself taking the path to least resistance so after we had discovered that leak on the outside of the home we knew there had to be an inside culprit um, granted this house is on a slab so we performed a uh, pretty thorough slab detection uh, we were able to pinpoint it right underneath this air conditioning unit inside the garage. Uh, it shares a common wall. Uh, so we, we just went ahead and exposed that slab and already identified one leak. We believe there may be another one. So we're just gonna get in there and see what we can make happen. Yeah, so whenever we're working at customers' homes, granted it's a garage, you might think it's your own dirty place, but uh, we take the best care of their homes, act like it's our own. Uh, so in order to prevent any kind of dust contamination throughout the house, uh, we definitely build some structures, try and keep that down. Uh, uh, try to take care of everybody as best we can while we're doing our work. Yeah, so after we exposed the, the primary leak that we were able to see uh, through the actual inside of the insulation, uh, as the chase ran down through the concrete, we were able to identify the one leak. After exposing that, uh, that was a previous repair made by another company. We actually discovered another one further down that we're about to expose. All right, so here we have the actual uh, portion of the, the pipe that was leaking. Uh, this is a previous repair made by another company. Uh, the fitting that was utilized is a push to connect fitting. Uh, they do have their purposes when you cannot isolate the water. Um, in this application, it was improperly installed. They require being wrapped um, to prevent any kind of corrosion, and they definitely attach to bad piping here. Um, inevitably, when you have a leak in the slab, it's going to be a reoccurring issue. Um, not to mention, this was a previous repair. Uh, that's why we always try and give the customer peace of mind and, and actually do a whole home repipe and take care of it correctly. Uh, in the event, this is more so a Band-Aid, which this customer has opted to, to go for. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this pipe cleaned up and uh, go ahead and get the water evacuated out of the lines and sweat a fitting on there, uh, make the transition. All right, so we actually made the repair to that pipe that was existing underneath the slab that was originally leaking. So what we did, we built up pressure on that old existing pipe that has definitely seen better days. Uh, not only is it internally corroded, the exterior, just from the acids in the, in the sand of itself, uh, have definitely taken its toll. So this is the old copper pipe that was underneath the slab. Internally, you can see the pitting. And this is a in-service pipe that's been, you know, aged as well, not subject to the sand. And it's actually in decent shape. So what we found after we actually made the repair, after repressurizing it, just not but a couple of inches down the line, there's another additional leak that has revealed itself after building pressure. It found the next weakest link in the chain and it's showing itself. So who knows how many more there are down the line. So the customers decided to go ahead and take the worry-free option and go with a whole home repipe. Uh, so we got the customers uh, in touch with the office. We have a actual whole home repipe scheduled. Uh, for the time being, we're gonna make a temporary repair to the best of our abilities and uh, keep the house reinstated for the time being.